Imagine being able to solve complex problems, reveal secrets, and dazzle your friends with your Sherlock Holmes-like powers. You can, and it's all thanks to your deductive abilities. Deduction abilities are vital for anyone who wants to achieve in life, from solving murder mysteries to predicting the next move of your opponents. In this video, we'll go over some of the most successful problem-solving approaches utilized by master investigators like Sherlock Holmes and Oriki from Hayaka. So, be ready to channel your inner detective and become a problem-solving genius. Oriki from the anime series Hayaka is renowned in the world of fiction for his outstanding logical reasoning skills. He is excellent at precisely and quickly resolving complex issues. Oriki's abilities, however, are not limited to the realm of anime. Many people in the real world who want to improve their problem-solving talents can take inspiration from them. In today's fast-paced environment, the ability to solve problems rapidly is becoming increasingly important. Whether in our personal or professional lives, we frequently run into circumstances that require us to react quickly and improvise. This video which draws inspiration from Oriki's deductive reasoning talents, intends to provide viewers advice on how to sharpen their problem-solving abilities and finish tasks swiftly. By the end of the video, viewers will have a better understanding of how to approach and solve problems quickly and efficiently, and how to develop their own problem-solving skills over time. So, if you want to improve your problem-solving abilities and learn how to deduct and solve problems quickly like Oriki, then stay tuned. And remember, nobody will teach you this, but us, so subscribe before we start. First, understanding the problem. Before trying to solve a problem, one must fully comprehend it. If you don't have a clear knowledge of the problem, you could squander time and effort trying to solve the wrong problem. First, it's important to completely understand the issue before trying to solve it. It is important to take the time to identify the key issues raised by the problem statement by reading it numerous times. This will help you determine the scope of the problem and the resources required to solve it. Next, evaluate the issue and pinpoint the crucial details. Break the issue down into its component parts, then look for any patterns or connections between them. Think about any potential assumptions or restrictions and assess how they might affect the result. Last but not least, it's essential to stay clear of common mistakes when approaching a problem. One common mistake is jumping to a solution before fully understanding the problem. This approach can result in a less than optimal outcome or even make the problem worse. Another mistake is drawing conclusions too quickly based on incomplete information. It's imperative to consider all available data and refrain from making decisions based on insufficient data. Second, making connections. Making connections between concepts and information is a crucial part of problem solving. By searching for patterns and similarities, you can better comprehend the problem and come up with a practical solution. Here are some tips that could be useful to connect various ideas and facts. Start by organizing the information using a flowchart or mind map as a visual representation. You will be better able to recognize the relationships between various elements and spot any trends or similarities as a result. Another strategy for identifying patterns and similarities is to use a technique called chunking. Chunking means breaking down the data into more digestible chunks and figuring out how they relate to one another. This can enable you to design a more thorough strategy and grasp the wider picture. Making links between complex ideas using analogies is yet another excellent strategy. Analogies make difficult ideas easier to comprehend by relating them to something more relatable. For instance, you might compare the concept of electricity to the flow of water in order to better grasp it. Third, creativity and intuition. Solving complex problems often requires more than just logical reasoning and analytical skills. Creativity and intuition can also play a crucial role in developing effective solutions. First, creativity. Creativity is defined as the ability to think beyond the box and produce new ideas. Brainstorming is an effective method for stimulating creativity. No matter how ludicrous or crazy an idea may appear, brainstorming means coming up with as many ideas as possible. This technique may help you come up with innovative solutions to problems that you would not have considered otherwise. During the brainstorming process, avoid criticizing or dismissing ideas as this might hinder creativity and prevent the production of new ideas. Intuition, the ability to understand something instinctively without the use of conscious reasoning, is referred to as intuition. When dealing with a problem, going with your gut instinct can lead to a more beneficial answer. If you want to learn to trust your intuition, start by accepting and admitting your initial reaction to the problem. Then, consider the material at hand and how it corresponds to your gut instinct. 
If your instincts match the material presented, it may be worthwhile to investigate further. Another strategy for promoting creativity and intuition is to get away from the problem and focus on something else. You can free up your thoughts and give your subconscious mind the time to focus on the issue. This can frequently lead to new thoughts and solutions that you had not previously considered. It is critical to remember that rational reasoning and analytical skills should be blended with creativity and intuition. While intuition and creativity may yield creative solutions, it is critical to critically evaluate these solutions to ensure they are viable and realistic. Fourth, systematic approaches. While creativity and intuition can be powerful tools in problem solving, it's important to also have a systematic approach to ensure that you are methodical and thorough in your problem solving process. There are many different systematic problem solving methods, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Here are a few examples. Trial and error. This approach involves experimenting with several solutions until you find one that is effective. Even though it might be a tedious and irritating procedure, it can be useful if you only have a little knowledge of the issue. Divide and conquer. This strategy entails dividing the issue into more manageable chunks. You can progressively arrive at a solution for the complete problem by first resolving each component separately. Root cause analysis. This technique involves discovering the root of a problem and tackling it head on. You can stop the issue from happening again by addressing its underlying cause. Other methods include the five whys, which involves asking why five times to uncover the root cause of a problem, and fishbone diagrams, which are graphical tools used to identify potential causes of a problem. It's also crucial to take into account the unique qualities of the problem you're attempting to solve while selecting a problem-solving approach. Which approach is best might depend on a number of variables, including how difficult the issue is, how much information is available, and how much time you have available. Start by defining the main aspects of the problem in order to determine the appropriate strategy. Think about elements including the problem's scope, its urgency, and the resources at hand. Next, consider various approaches to problem solving and select the approach that is most likely to be successful given the particulars of the problem. Fifth, practice and persistence. Problem solving, like any other skill, requires practice and persistence to develop. For problem solving abilities to grow, practice is necessary on a regular basis. The more you practice, the more comfortable you become with various problem solving techniques and approaches, and the quicker you can spot trends and connections between various situations. Take into account the following advice to routinely practice problem solving. Set aside time to solve problems. Plan specific time each day or each week to work on problem solving tasks. This can assist you in creating a routine and maintaining your attention on improving your skills. Seek for difficult problems. Look for problems that are a little outside of your comfort zone. These kinds of problems can help you flex your problem-solving muscles and learn new ones. Collaborate with others. Collaborating with others can help you acquire new problem-solving skills and gain new views on a challenge. Consider your progress. Reflect on your progress on a regular basis and find opportunities for growth. This can assist you in remaining motivated and focused on improving your talents. Additionally, practice problem solving on a regular basis, either by confronting real-world challenges or by practicing with puzzles and brain teasers. Problem solving is a skill that can be honed through practice, and the more you practice, the more confident you will be in your ability to handle issues quickly and effectively. Real-life concerns might range from problems in personal relationships to problems at work. You can challenge yourself to find creative solutions to these issues by using the strategies and ideas discussed in this video. You may also improve your problem-solving abilities by playing with puzzles and brain teasers. These can be found online, in puzzle books, and in mobile applications designed specifically for problem-solving practice. We encourage viewers to begin practicing their deduction skills and to share their results in the comments section below. Begin honing your observation abilities right now to become the next Sherlock Holmes or Oriki. Remember that problem solving is a skill that requires time and effort to perfect, but anyone can become a master problem solver with constant practice and the correct methods. As Oriki once said, I'm not lazy, I'm just conserving energy. So, let's conserve our energy and put it towards developing our problem solving skills. In the words of Albert Einstein, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. So, let's keep evolving our problem-solving skills and tackle new challenges together. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our current videos. You'll never miss out on the chance to hone your problem-solving skills and become a master detective like Oriki if you subscribe. Thank you for watching, until next time.